In a courtroom not far from Ground Zero, a jury convicted this former Guantanamo Bay detainee of a terrorist crime, conspiracy in the 1998 Al-Qaeda embassy bombings in Africa. But Ahmed Galani was acquitted of 284 other charges, a huge setback for prosecutors that casts fresh doubt on President Barack Obama's plans for terror suspects and makes the future of the Guantanamo Bay Detention Center more uncertain than ever. Human rights advocates say the verdict in this case was justice. I think that the verdict shows that simply labeling someone a high-value detainee and torturing them and holding them at Guantanamo with no end game uh, doesn't translate automatically into guilt. But Obama critics like incoming House Speaker John Boehner say it shows the folly of taking terror suspects to civilian courts. He says instead they should face war crimes charges in military tribunals. Taking office two years ago, Obama vowed to close Guantanamo, calling it a blot on America's image. But his deadline came and went as aides worked out what to do with the inmates, where to move them, which to try, and how. Attorney General Eric Holder wants civilian trials for top al-Qaeda operatives like 9-11 mastermind Khalid Sheikh Mohammed, and the administration says it remains a viable option. But depending on his sentence, Galani could walk free after 20 years, despite the deaths of 224 people, a notion that angers lawmakers of both parties and even the White House acknowledges makes closing Guantanamo that much harder. So while the New York jury settled Ahmed Galani's fate, the fates of Guantanamo Bay and top al-Qaeda detainees are as clouded as ever, meaning it's still an open question if the president will end his four-year term unable to deliver on a promise he made so dramatically the week it began. Mark Smith, The Associated Press, The White House.